Hi Leo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your week ahead. Leo, this is from the 6th to the 12th of uh, May. Uh, the major arcana, the major influence this week, this coming week for you, Leo, is the magician. What are you manifesting this week, Leo? You have all the tools that you need. You can manifest whatever you want. Okay, so let's put this card here and take out one card for each day and see where this magician energy is taking you. So, Spirit, tell me, for my lions and my lionesses, what can they expect now from Monday to Sunday? 6th to the 12th of May. 6th to the 12th of May, Spirit. What can my Leo gang expect? And of course, we'll clarify them as required. Ah, strength again. This is your card. Standing in your power, standing in your strength, Leo, on Monday. Tuesday, we have the Four of Cups. Wednesday, we have the Seven of Wands. Ace of Wands for Thursday, Friday the Five of Swords, Saturday Seven of Cups and Sunday, oh my God, Emperor, back in control, back in power. You're starting out the, uh, the week very strong with a strength card here, Leo. Bottom of my deck, what do we have? Hanged Man. Well, you are going to be your own boss this uh, week and make your own decisions, seeing things from all different perspectives to make the right choice for yourself. This is like, I know what I have to do and I have to take my time to make some very, very wise decisions for myself. Okay, so before I clarify these cards, of course, Leo, let's also take an affirmation for you. So you stay strong and be, you know, become that emperor, empress of your own life and feel like that. All right, Spirit, tell me, what's the affirmation for my lions and my lionesses who are listening today? Here it is. And this card says, kindness. I'm kind to myself and others. In order to be kind, you must open your heart to the gentle qualities of caring and compassion. Be kind to yourself. Have reasonable expectations and give yourself Due praise. Don't be too hard on yourself. That's what spirit is saying. Okay, so in order to nurture the gentle quality of kindness, cherish yourself. When you do something for yourself, you automatically extend that same energy to others. Kindness melts barriers of ice around people and re-empowers those who are afraid. So reach out to the lonely, draw out the shy and include those who feel isolated and comfort the sad. Your rewards will be a sense of inner peace, warmth and love. And your affirmation once again is I'm kind to myself and others. That's what an emperor is all about. An emperor is the ruler of the empire and everybody looks up to the emperor for care and advice and love and compassion and that's your going to be your role this week uh, this upcoming week leo okay so now let's start let's start with monday spirit why is leo in their strength how, how are they in their strength what's happening here or do they need strength for something strength card spirit oh yes empress okay emperor empress both on the table so my my lioness is out there who are feeling why the emperor why not the empress where will we have both here okay anyways so okay justice i think you are walking away from or you have walked away from something which was no longer serving you and you are standing strong in your beliefs this on monday uh, i do feel that you are going to be it's going to be a very balanced day where you will feel very, you know, in power, uh, in control of your life, feeling strong, feeling, yes, you have everything that you need. You, you no longer have to look back at anything that was not serving you. Basically, a very relaxed and balanced day. Justice. Justice, strength, empress, all three cards are like, yes, you know what? I don't have to work too hard. I can start now to imagine what I want my future to look like. Because you've already walked away from past disappointments and you're no longer looking at them and you're feeling good about yourself. And believe it or not, I have the magician back again. I mean, these readings sometimes give me goosebumps. Yeah, I was just doing the Aries reading and they got the Wheel of Fortune as their main card. And then they got it twice over from two different decks. And here I am doing the Leo reading and now from the second deck I have the magician again. So that's how powerful these energies are. It's kind of 
freaks me out for some time or <laughs> sometimes it freaks me out okay so what happens on tuesday spirit what's the four of cups four of cups nine of cups okay there is some wish fulfillment maybe after a period of disappointment uh, there you have some reason to celebrate on tuesday some some major wishes of yours are going to be coming true or you're working towards them but tuesday also seems a good day of celebration of jo joy of enjoying yourself maybe after a period of time where maybe you were feeling that you never got the offers that you wanted um this week seems seems to have and i just spoke about it I just spoke about the wheel of fortune and see what I manifested for you. My God, the wheel of fortune. So Tuesday is going to be a good day again. Monday is good. Tuesday is even better. Uh, what about uh, seven of wands uh, on Wednesday, spirit? I think on Wednesday it's going to be a work day. It's going to be you're totally focused on work, and you're going to be having your head down and saying, you know what, I need to really focus on what I want. Maybe you will have your friends or something reaching out and saying, hey, you know, Leo, if you're free, can we do this? Can we do that? I think you'll get a lot of uh, distractions or offers coming towards you on Wednesday, where. I don't think you're going to accept any. It's like, yeah, you know what? I have already thought of what I want out of my life and I'm manifesting that and I need to put in some action as well. So today is going to be a day when I just want to put my head down and focus on myself uh, and uh, work towards my own goals. Am I right, Spirit? Yeah, because you're starting something brand new. You're ready to embark on a brand new journey and by Thursday, you are starting something new. I mean, you're excited. Ace of Wands is here. This is like the beginning of a passionate brand new start or feeling excited about a new project or maybe a new trip that you want to take or something which is like going to like, um, you know, whet your appetite kind of a thing. It's like exciting you. What is it, Spirit? Ace of Wands. Yeah, because you feel, uh, you feel you're pretty self-sufficient. You are standing in your power and giving yourself a pat on the back. You're looking good, you're feeling good, you're smelling good and you're excited about what you want to create next. Giving yourself a pat on the back. I don't know what you've done here. But Thursday gets you feeling good and proud of yourself and excited now to pursue maybe a higher level of success. But then we have the Five of Swords on uh, Friday Spirit. Why is that? Five of Swords. What's the Five of Swords? Page of Cups. Beware of Thursday, uh, Friday. Somebody may not be very happy with this new beginning of yours. Maybe you tell a friend or you tell a sibling or you tell a business partner maybe about this uh, exciting thing that you're planning to do, this Ace of Wands. I do feel with the Page of Cups energy, you could be maybe sharing this information with somebody who may not be very happy for you, may try to create some trouble for you or be jealous of you or talk you down or something like that. It That could kind of confuse you a little bit, but um, uh, I don't know. So what Spirit is trying to say is that you worked really hard for it. Don't let anyone's words uh, change the decision that you're making. Make these decisions for yourself, Leo, because you're the one who's worked for it all along. You're the one, one who's like a little ant been working towards this um, thing that you've wanted to do. Somebody may try and dissuade you from moving on. Maybe you're planning a travel or, you know, starting a new brand new chapter for yourself or something. There is somebody here who's not going to be very happy. So beware of that. Beware of Friday when you are sharing information with somebody because what Spirit is saying, you've worked for it, you deserve it, make your own choices. Don't let any anyone bring any upheaval in your life by confusing you. So what happens on Saturday then, Spirit? So seven of Cups. What's the Seven of Cups? Eight of Wands. Ten of Cups. Okay. And the Five of Pentacles. I think you know what you're going to be doing. I think what you're going to be doing, you'll talk to every... It's like in, here we say, 
uh, talk to everyone but listen to no one or listen to yourself that's exactly what i see you doing i think on saturday you're keeping an open mind you could be discussing this with maybe, maybe other people now and uh, there will be communication a lot of communication happening on saturday but eventually you are going to go towards your 10 of cups because that's where you know you are going to be successful i don't i don't know if I, i'm explaining this correctly it's like you're listening to everybody but finally you're going to leave somebody or something behind some the person or situation which is dissuading you it's like this is like almost elimination it's like okay i have these 10 cards now i'm going to not listen to these three cards and i'm going to move towards these three cards it's almost like you're making up your mind and by sunday yes you have taken back power and control of your life you are making your own decisions and choices and you're back on your throne you realize nobody can overthrow you because this is something you worked hard for yourself and you deserve the 10 of cups so whoever is going to be uh, you know trying to get in your way whether through communication or energetically or you know in their looks or whatever they are trying to do you will listen to all but you're going to make your own choice by the end of it and it's going to lead you to your happy place which is the 10 of cups but you will leave this these people then behind it will be like a learning to you okay so this person is not happy for my success so i know better now in future i have to leave this person behind or this advice behind so spirit tell me about the emperor on sunday emperor six of pentacles yes you're thing okay all right you are such a kind person though leo you are a kind person yes you will be leaving troubled situations behind and moving on towards peace and happiness for yourself uh, i think the same people may even just come back and say hey you know what um, can we kind of be part of your journey or whatever i have a feeling you're going to be very kind you realize that you are sitting in a very powerful place and yes you have enough for yourself but you can be kind to others as well no wonder that kind card came i mean the affirmation that you got got kindness you will realize that those people were only worried about maybe losing you or losing your time or your friendship so you will be compassionate very very compassionate and say you know what i have enough i have so much that i can i can be gentle i can be kind to even these people because it's not that they don't want me to succeed maybe they just didn't want to be left behind this week uh, you are trying to see things from all different points of view like from your perspective their perspective and then make very good decisions not just for yourself but also for your loved ones or people around you yeah you are the magician of your own life harness this uh, energy very very well leo okay All right. So that's what I have for you, I guess. Uh, Leo, have a wonderful magical week ahead. Until next time then. Love and light. Take care. Namaste.